This is hanging on the board at my local game store. It's probably a joke, but there's this part of me that wants it to be true. I want this girl to show up in the store when I'm there and update the poster so I'll know it's her and that this is a real thing and not a joke the store staff are playing. Not because I want to meet this girl gamer, but because it would mean that all the funny stories I read on TG are probably true. Now, I want this to be fake, guys. I haven't read this yet. I've skimmed it, and it's bad. So look, let's, let's just open up this uh, this flyer and see what it's all about, will we? So before we start, let me point out that we've got a new Republic symbol in the top right-hand corner. Yeah. A Horde symbol from World of Warcraft. We've got a Triforce. And then, is that a Magic the Gathering one? I don't know about I Magic. Think, I think that is a Magic the Gathering symbol. I don't know what the name is. Right, so... so help! <laughs> a long time ago in... F- oh. <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far away, there lived a female. This rare nerdy breed was in search of nerdlings. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Megan. Why are you pointing at me? Look out! <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go gamers! <laughs> this rare nerdy breed was in search of nerdlings nerdy enough to match her nerdtrocity. Oh. Easy task. This was not. Oh god. For to reveal in her great quest, she had to light the beacons, calling for aid. She's literally put every reference, uh, she uh, can. reference in this. Would help come? Indeed, she was unsure. However, a great many moons passed while she searched. One night while getting a drink at a quiet nearby pond. A murloc of it. (laughs) Them horrible things from fucking World of Warcraft. A murloc walked by her, seeming innocent. But she pulled aggro and suddenly it attacked. Realizing the enemy, she thought, Quick, do a barrel roll. Killing the murloc and continued on her journey. Nah, she should know better. If you pull one murloc, you're pulling at least five. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Never again would she trust such creatures in the same way. However, she had to light the beacon. When she turned 12, a hairy man popped up in her living room telling her she was a wizard. <laughs> you're Megan, a I can't. Harry. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I think only like 10 people yeah. are going to get that and Tom. Realising she was, in fact, a girl, he left, leaving her his phone number behind for some reason. What? Time, I don't know. Hi, uh, hi Gertipito. Yeah. <laughs> Time was against her. She needed help. Pulling out her ocarina, she played Epona's song. Oh, please stop this. Oh, I'm cringing this so This is too hard. much. Oh, this would speed her on her mission. While riding the western roads, she met a man who ran out of a large blue box while shouting, Don't blink! Blinking, you're dead! Oh, please. oh wait, my bad. This is wrong person, sorry. <laughs> then going back inside the odd blue box, he vanished. She grew weary. Her patience grew thin as she kept hearing f- a female voice from a small glowing light say, Hey, hey, listen. Hey, listen! I must say, that's not a bad impression. Are you listening to that back? <laughs> I think that's not too bad. <laughs> so she killed ir- the irritating light and pressed on. Where were the beacons? If she could not light them, who could? Riding through a mountain pass, she came across a small orb. Realising what it was, she gathered the dragon oh, balls for, for Goku. Sake, oh, for I can't, God. Megan. This, is, this has to be a party. She needed help. She blew the horn Aslan gave her. <laughs> oh, fuck uh, off. And suddenly DC characters came out of nowhere. <laughs> This is like, this is like. This is the merge. This is the this merge. Is, this is Chris Chan's merge. <laughs> yes. Is this where Chris Chan got the idea for the merge from? I fucking hope not. Oh, actually, I hope it is. I hope so. It was the Teen Titans, followed by the ca- the Captain America gang, the Captain America gang, and then meant to be like the Avengers. <laughs> I think I don't know. I can tell you. The two teen gangs started to argue, and it turned into a melee brawl of epic proportions. So naturally, Mario and Kirby joined the brawl. Getting frustrated, she blew the horn again when He-Man appeared, telling her he already lit the beacons. So she should just put up an ad looking for a D&D group. Following his advice, Hello, I'm Kara. Anyone starting a new D&D group? If this isn't a warning for don't join the... Oh my if god. If this isn't the biggest red flag in tabletop <laughs> role-playing games, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I I don't know about this. This is genuinely this is awful. And I, I will yeah, say, I'm quirky. I'm nerdy. Come play. <laughs> uh, 
You remember whenever that whole gamer girl thing was like, a, oh, like it was don't. in full swing? It was horrible. It was it was genuine cringe. Ellipsis, saturated with references to various popular media, even a damned emoticon. The sheer force of try hard makes me think that this is somehow both a trolling attempt and genuine. I I, I do think this is more of a genius trolling attempt. I oh, I really want. So. You know the problem is like like guys guys. How many times have we came in contact with this, and it actually has been just crazy people every time. Yeah. Near enough every time. It's very rare that it's actually like you know. <laughs> troll. <laughs> troll. Everybody's like, please let this be a, be a joke. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess I can recycle one of my that guy stories. Running three point five. One of my players is running a chaotic, neutral, LOL, so random elf who's obsessed with cats. Gamer girls and OMG, so, do, so totally random, are just part of the same vein, yeah. I think. No, they like, are. Like, they're almost like break-offs. Like, you know, like in evil, evolution terms, you know, when you have the tree <laughs> yeah. and, like, you know, different species break off from one another. They were definitely <laughs> <Rawr>. part... <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh god, they so do that, like, and... Always asking if there are any cats on scene. Keeps looking for cat folk to glomp them. Oh, God. we've came across that it's term before. It's running up to people and hugging them. All right, okay, sure thing. Because I thought it was dirty and people were like, no, Megan. Yeah. The party winds up going to investigate a textile mill that had suffered a monster attack. He splits off from the party like a genius. Perfect opportunity. I tell him he sees a cat on the other side of the room that darts behind a piece of machinery after meowing at him. Trying to recreate that scene in Alien, where a dude gets attacked by the monster while he's focused on the cat. <laughs> oh yeah. But the player has seen Alien too. Meta games like a bastard. Nope, the fuck out of there. Completely dropping his prior characterization. <laughs> a jerk. What do you do with that? <laughs> you know. What do you do? What do you do? Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! (laughs) But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Star Wars, World of Warcraft, Star Fox, Harry Potter, Zelda, Doctor Who, Zelda again, Dragon Ball Z, Narnia, DC, Marvel, and He-Man references. So, what is it missing references to? By my count, she's got everything but Homestruck, Adventure Time, and My Little Pony. So this is a wee bit out of date. This film, what, like six years ago now? Yeah. What else would they be missing? I Pokemon. Like, oh, no, no. She way more, way more critical references. Yeah. So many critical references, it wouldn't even be funny. You know, fine, like, like, that's the one. I, you know like, what I'm surprised as well? That there's no, like, old school PewDiePie mm. memes. Like, PewDiePie yeah. references in it. Yeah, something like a barrel or some shit, you know, like one of those or ones. chair or <sighs> brofist or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, like. something horrible. I don't know, I don't know, maybe... Might be a bit too young. Or like a Markiplier reference. Oh, God. Don't even. Don't even. Or like a... <laughs> oh, please, no, Megan. You actually make, you actually hurt my soul. You actually hurt my soul. <laughs> well, sorry to disappoint, but I never got to actually play a game with her or anything. But she was just as insufferable wannabe nerd in every way. She was a gamer girl who couldn't even beat one level of a side-scroller and didn't realise until an immense amount of hours into Halo that you could jump Oh god. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> she was she was the kind of person to throw up the Vulcan salute <laughs> and say may the force be with you. <laughs> the face when asked by this nice middle-aged guy if I wanted to join his PMP group. They play every other week at the local game store. Remember the grip consists of a 10 year old boy that talks really fucking loud. <laughs> Every 10 year old. <laughs> yeah, why is he like that? No volume control. <laughs> yeah. And when someone older says something funny, he repeats it over and over and over in an attempt to be cool like them. Normal 10 year old behaviour, but fuck it, it's grating. 
a My Little Pony loving crooked tooth lesbian <laughs> that always wears a yellow Pikachu shirt with blue overalls over it. And oh, I've, n- I've met that exact person, <laughs> Megan. Oh my God, I've actually and met that person. smells like she person. hasn't showered in three years. Oh my years. God, I actually have met that person. <laughs> so for obvious reasons, I uh, cannot actually speak about this person, <laughs> but she does exist. Actually, I don't remember more players. I almost puked once when I walked past something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a kid I used to always see at the Burger King in town I went to college in. He always wore a red t-shirt with holes in it. And these fat suspenders with all kinds of buttons with Councillor Tory from TNG on it. He oh was my maybe... god, it's Chris Chan. <laughs> he was maybe in his 40s. Long, balding hair with BCG eyewear. I used to always wonder how those guys happen. Now at my friendly local game store, there's this kid I always see. He wears a black t-shirt, a denim vest with my little pony buttons all over it, and fingerless gloves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why is it always fit? like that like, guy? I'm sorry. Fingerless gloves are very practical. Don't get me wrong, but they're fucking cringe. Yeah, they are. They are cringe, but they are practical though. I used to have a bullet for my Valentine fingerless gloves. Megan, don't. I did. <laughs> One day, many years ago from now, a confused college kid will see an older, fatter version of him in a fast food joint, all the time when he's catching a meal between classes. He'll wonder how that exactly happens, and the circle will be complete! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think that's just a thing. Like, what percentage of, like, any population has these people? Yeah. It still baffles me that calling someone a fedora wearer is now pretty much a universally accepted insult in the internet. And yet these people who likely spend all day, every day on the web just don't get it. And this is from 2014. Yeah. <laughs> I think, no, I think it started off about 2011. I think the whole fedora meme first came about. It was, it was quite an early meme. It really came into its own with the whole our atheism from yeah. some, uh, from that. Oh, yeah. that was horrible. There's a guy in the PFS at my local game store. He has a speech impediment. Like straight up Dr. Wowie type. (laughs) (laughs) And all he buys with his gold is invisibility potions. His character must be about 7th level by now, but he's still wearing 1st level gear and everything. He just has a bag full of invisibility potions. And he drinks them all the time. Even if he's already invisible, he drinks another. What? (laughs) Why? (laughs) Why? I, I, I need. I must know more. I must why know more. This, why? I don't know. Maybe he's got like a thing. Like I'm invisible. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Jesus, it feels like forever ago when I noticed a few people started talking about this new My Little Pony remaker thing or whatever. I didn't give it much thought, and I found it kind of funny that a few people thought it was actually pretty good. I thought it would blow over within a few weeks. And then people started to change their form avatars and making increasingly elaborate fan arts and photoshopping ponies into pictures of the worst show getter <laughs> <laughs> and wearing their shirts everywhere. And then the fedoras. Oh god, so many of them. I long for the days of old when the nerds and the rest of us didn't want to associate with were just wearing flame t-shirts and fingerless gloves. <laughs> the flame, I, you know, oh, you know the worst thing I, I actually had. I bet you had a lot of them. I, I did have a flame t-shirt. You t-shirt. remind me of the type of guy. <laughs> he had like DCs with flames all up the side of DC I, shoes. No, no, I did have DCs, but they were like neon green. So they were. I had DCs as well. I yeah. had four pair of DCs. Like, guys, it was a different time. I had DCs with skulls all of them. <laughs> yeah, I know my one had skulls as <laughs> yeah! well. Yes! This is why we're married. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Look, guys, it was a different time. But I kind of enjoy this. This is almost like a time capsule, <laughs> you know, of like internet culture, as it were. So, guys, I know this one wasn't really about what it started out being, but uh, it was a bit of a time yeah, capsule. Yeah, I, I have no idea where this video went to. I have no idea. Look, <laughs> I enjoyed I, it. I enjoyed it. That, that flyer just caught my eye, and I was like, you know what? We need to make a video about this, you know? But the rest of the thread kind of like took on its own persona <laughs> so, yeah and like you know a weird time capsule of internet like not it, it feels so long ago doesn't so it so long ago the wild west the internet it wasn't even no it's like it's not it's not even it feels like just even like well like even the past like three years oh i'm getting dimmer yeah same <laughs> i same i'm getting dimmer vibes it's like oh my god why does everything have to change so much 
What happened? We're going through changes. changes. <laughs> so what happened, guys? Genuinely, what happened to the internet? Like, what? when did it all start going downhill? I think it was a Mayan calendar, personally. <laughs> I think it was like, it wasn't really the end of the world in 2012, but it was the, the, begin- the, the beginning of the end. Anyway, <laughs> it was down. No, I would say the beginning of the end for, mo- for the internet was mobile phone internet. Yeah. That and so many people on the internet. Yeah, because just- it was so... It, it- it wasn't available for everyone. Yeah. It I really did had, change. Like, a shit ass block fucking computer, computer sitting on your desk in the middle yeah. of a family room. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, but is family computers even still a thing anymore? No. It's so strange. So anyway, strange, anyway, like we're 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 rambling, yeah, we're like rambling at this point. Fucks. I know. Not even that old fuck's sake. People go on. It's like guess what age me and Megan are? We're twenty six. We're not even that old. No. Does that make you feel old? <laughs> Or are we old? Or are we boomers? I don't know. I don't I'm not. Know I'm not. I, what am I? I'm, are we? Are we millennials? Or are we zoomers? <laughs> I don't no even idea. know. Look, guys, let's just fucking end this. This. This is. This is turning into a mess. Way too long. It doesn't Look, matter. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell. See you later. Bye. <laughs>